Hello, I'm back, and as promised, I'm going back into the Twilight Forest. Now I have my magic map, and I believe to use it, there we go, you just click on it. So, as you can see, all these things are different structures. The little hill-looking things are the big caves that I want to explore to get all the ores, and all the way in that direction is a Naga boss. Which I'm trying to think is it probably the easiest boss, but I still enjoy it. But as you can see, there's a hill this way, so I'm gonna head this way. I think these hills are like absolutely brutal. I will die many, many, many times in here unless I take it really, really slowly, which I'm thinking might have. And you need like at least a couple of stacks of torches to light it up. Uh, I'm guessing that's the hill here. Well, not this one, but over this one maybe. Yes, yeah, it's way too big to be a hill. You kind of see where the hills are without the map, but it's just nice to at least point you in the direction. And it shows you the size on the map, like the small ones, medium ones, and large ones. I think the one I'm venturing to is. Well, it's not a small one because there's smaller ones that appear on the map, so it's at least a medium. And I'm thinking it is a medium, I don't think it's a large. Large ones, we'll put it this way, um, on our server with two or three of us, we still die in a large one <laughs> when we're all kitted out in all our good stuff. They are brutal places. So the hill should be just here. And that looks like a hill to me. So you can kind of see where they are because this is a very, it's a very like, if it's a generated thing, they all look very similar. So this is a very round hill. Like if you can't quite see it on the map because it doesn't show like different heights, but you can kind of tell what they look like. And I'm just going to dig straight to the side and see if. So you see how quickly this pickaxe, this is the first time I've used the pickaxe since I made it, so... I can see on the uh, mini-map that there is the big cave, so I'm going to dig down as well, because it looks like it wasn't going down enough. Sometimes they spawn like high up within the cave, and sometimes it's really low down, so... Kind of have to take a guess. That's a good sign finding these roots. Although I am going to kind of make a U turn because I'm kind of like in the middle of it now. <laughs> and that's not the place to enter. You want to enter these at a side which you can easily run from. This goes down. To the Where is it? Legitimately lost. Hmm. Oh, there it is. You can see it on the map now. It was really deep. Wow. Sometimes you can like enter them at ground level from above. There we go. This place is hell, basically. But it's so good for getting ores and stuff. If I like knock away a few of these blocks, you can see, you can see redstone. You can see scaling duds. You can see coal. You can see chests. So is there an easy way down here? Not there. There we go. No, not quite. Get back this way a bit. I want to just enter here at ground level, just so I can... I should have done this. Oh god, and it begins. Ah. First of all, I just want to block these off so I don't fall down them. Stick a torch. My knees so I can just run and jump up here. Oh god. These spiders 
getting in to this this is I claim this is my little safe bit kind of not but my little safe bit that's not really that safe those five things more so god damn it they're horrible I have water I forgot about that okay and let's go basically the sword's very powerful with two hits let's get a link okay come to you. Except you, you can stay well the fuck away. <laughs> Just gonna light this up. A little bit by little bit. How's my armor doing? Ah, it's almost dead. Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh, this is so difficult. Usually I never attempt this with less than two people. I've never done this solo before. Which kind of scares me. I'm gonna need a lot more torches as well. I'm just I just wanted to get in, find a way in before I retreated. <laughs> right, so we kinda have A safe place? God, no, that's extending the truth just a little bit. Oh god. There's a spawner there as well. I should, probably should have tried to get that before I ran back. And oh mother of god. Here we go. At least I got a little bit lit up. It's a good start. Spiders are the worst because you can't see them because they're so damn small. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, not the fire things. God. No. There are beetles that like pick you up and carry you along. They're also horrible. I really want to get rid of that spawner as well. Perfect. I think that was a skeleton spawner if I saw it properly before I got rid of it. So that's good because skeletons are possibly the worst thing in here just because they keep knocking you back and back and back when you try and. Oh god, okay. Whew, ah, that's a lot of XP. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god, right. Stand here and let them come to me. Or walk away. Come on, little else. Mm -hmm. You gonna come at me or are you just gonna walk around? Those uh, blue elephant things you saw, that thing, they're quite easy to deal with, so they should be one hit with my sword. Oh no, they're not. Okay, if I put uh, one more sharpness level on my sword, they'll be one hit, so they'll be nice and easy to deal with. These elves are quite powerful, with two hits all the time, pretty much. And there's a skeleton hiding down there. God, oh my god, all those spiders. There's got to be a spawner for those. <laughs> At least the spiders are one hit kill. 
they want, then... <sighs> okay, this is... <laughs> this is horrible. Skellington's not gonna be back again. God damn it. Come here, you. that there because I want to clear out the entire area before I start going grabbing stuff. Oh. I would love to for that spawn. And this is the end of me. Oh my god. The great escape. Uh, a close one, definitely. Right, that way's not the right way. I'm going to go back and get some torches now because, as you can see, that uses up a lot of torches to light up the whole place. So back home I go. I should have plenty of wood and plenty of coal at home, so it shouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, look, a uh, weird structure. That these just are like ruins, they don't really have anything. Nothing exciting anyway. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Once I've gone to this house, because I think that this might have something in. Spawner. Those things are horrible, so I'm destroying that while I can. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here, grab some torches, empty my invent, and come back for the next episode. So, for now, I'm going to say goodbye, and I will see you next time.